waste. Well, we all know recycling is the right thing to do, but are we doing it the right way? Sometimes I question even myself <laughs> on this one. It's hard a, to figure out. It is. A pilot program in the suburbs is using these signs right here to help some homeowners, and we followed along as a crew checked out what's in the big blue carts. That's a dirty pizza box. No, thank you. No, thank you is right. On this weekday morning in Mount Prospect, this crew of environmental road warriors is going street to street. Oh, single-use cups. <laughs> and cart to cart. Digging in to check what homeowners are recycling and letting them know what they're doing right and not so right. It's part of a tagging pilot program by the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County. We have two tags. We have an oops tag to be able to mark. Um, the infractions in there. If we raise the lid and visually inspect it and it, it looks perfect, they get a thank you tag. These are all recyclable, but they need to be empty. Understanding the philosophy of recycling can help. The idea of recycling is to be able to utilize the resources to make new products. And so when you have contamination like this, it hinders the good materials from being processed and made into new products. When there's a lot of contamination, the whole cart will wind up in the landfill. Would you like to drink out of a plastic bottle made from this? All containers that go into your recycling cart need to be rinsed and cleaned. Labels are fine. Recycling should also be dry and loose. Don't bag it before you cart it and no plastic bags or styrofoam. For plastics, it's bottles, jugs, jars or tubs. That's it. As for metal, only metal cans, aluminum cans, steel cans, and then foil pans, foil. Alan says the best steps are taken before your stuff even gets to your cart. Reduce and reuse come before recycling. Minimize and prevent waste before it's even made. This is so helpful. In just a few weeks, the thank you tags right here that say it looking good are up to nearly 50%. Just to be clear, though, residents are sent a letter telling them about the program. They can opt out or in if they want. Alan says the strangest thing she's seen in recycling bins is a tire. She suggests checking your town's website to learn more about what is recyclable and where you can safely dispose of items that are not. And she told us homeowners who get the oops tags often blame someone else in their household, like the spouse or the kids. They're like, it wasn't me. It was them. They did it. Sell 